right we got a cheap one today kind of fun this is the uh, kind of hard to see even with the light condor stratocaster so a mid 80s uh korean strat i think made on a made by samic and um yeah and i see condor i think uh, they they made some uh in the early 70s they were made in japan by the Condor Corporation, a company that's kind of disappeared. I don't know exactly what happened, but they were making some quality instruments. Kind of a, yeah, I, I don't really know the whole history. But anyway, and uh, like a lot of people in the 80s, because of economic reasons, everybody moved, shipped operations over to uh, Sam and Korea and started producing you know, somewhat inferior yeah, products. I mean, still, yeah, this is great. Anyway, I, what I what I mean by that is, uh, what we have here is a plywood body that was very commonplace in the mid mid eighties, late eighties, and um, but it's beautiful. It's got a you know nice, beautiful maple neck, painted headstock. Uh, I didn't really do much with this. I, I changed uh, the tuners out. Uh, they had been changed. At this came with some black locking tuners and I thought yeah I'll take those off and keep for another project for myself or something because uh, I'm, I'm going to sell this anyway I just want to check it out and uh, yeah I didn't really need to do much as I said you know just clean it up set up did a little frets a little fret work and uh, that's about it and, and this thing man is is really light you know for, for plywood it must be something like I don't know, birch, I believe that's a light wood, I don't know. But, um, yeah, and, and what's also interesting about this is, like, I've, I've had a lot of these uh, mid-80s Sammy gu guitars come through my hands, and they always, 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 for some reason, they put in um, 500K pots, which, you know, usually you associate with humbuckers and they put them here in uh with single coils like almost every time i think so i, I don't know if that was a cost saving measure or what what the deal was with that but uh i, I don't think i've had one that had 250k pots it wasn't you know single 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 arrangement but anyway uh this is a real quick one because uh yeah this is but I gotta say, man, this thing is a lot of fun. It's it, and it sounds. I, I think it would benefit from from the different uh, tone pots, of course, because I have done that in an, in another uh, strat. I put in the 250k, and wow, I mean, I, I guess it, it would give Fender the run for the money, if you will. But uh, oh, at least check it out and clean. Um, yeah, I don't know, man, but uh. Bridge, bridge middle, middle, neck, let's see, yeah, I gotta do, I think I got a high fret on this, I gotta go back, but um, I don't know. Yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna get out of here. But um, yeah, so it's it's a little muddier than tra traditional strap, but that's it. I got something really exciting coming up uh, next week. I gotta go pick this thing up, but it's gonna be a yeah vintage Ibanez strap. Well, Seymour made by Ibanez from the '70s, so I can't wait for that. That's probably gonna well, it may take a while. But anyway, have a good one. Keep rocking. See you next time.